Well, here we are. Kind of stranded. That's the two days. We lasted two days. Welcome to the first episode of our big Norwegian road trip. We have found a really nice place for breakfast. Of course, we slept here tonight as well. I arrived in here early last uh, evening and um, we're woken up today by sheep outside of our van. And of course, our husky went crazy. So that was fun. Uh, right now, I'm here by my coffee station. I am uh, trying something new this trip. We have a grinder that we'll be using for extra freshness, so that's exciting. And uh, Benedicta is well away making breakfast. Yep, scrambled eggs. Would be nice now. We are running uh, low on water on our built-in tank but we have some extra here and this is a little trick that I want to show you. You might already know about it but it's kind of magic actually. So check this out. We bring a small hose and uh, water of course and then we do this. Check it out. You put one end of the hose inside of the water tank and then you make vacuum, so you suck on this end until the water comes out and then it runs all by itself. And then we put the tank up high just to help it along. Okay, and you can check out the level of the water. You see the line here. It actually goes down pretty fast. Check that out. How about that? And that's 10 liters going in just as quickly as you would do with a normal garden hose. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. just had dinner in the car and maybe we had a little nap <laughs> and you might you might can hear the rivers roaring hope you can hear me but it's just a short hike we're gonna reach a place called Vördingsfossen which is a really really nice waterfall and we we're actually hoping to get kind of a sunset here but the sun 
disappeared <laughs> behind some clouds, but yeah, it's still a nice place, so I'm excited to see it. I think that sums it up pretty good. Oh yeah, you feel me? It's been a really long day and a lot of driving, hikes, activities. I think we're just exhausted. But now we found a decent camp spot just by the road, but it's like the old road just next to the new tunnel. So there's not any noise. Uh, and as you can see around here, it's uh, pretty nice right next to the ocean so we are stranded and it's rainy outside so the, the thing is that our vehicle is making a really weird noise i don't know if you can hear that sound it's really not pleasant to hear we have switched so many parts lately we have new brakes we have new wheel bearings someone is suggesting it can be the cv joint today it's sunday of course and in Norway... Always need to happen on a Sunday. <laughs> in Norway, stores aren't open on Sundays. Yeah, it's comfort eat. <laughs> Have some chocolate. Wow. Classy. Uh, so we are actually on our way to this guy, Bord uh, Kristep, who is apparently an expert on these old T3s. So he's gonna try to help us fix the problem. So we reached out on this forum and apparently he's the guy. Okay, quick update from us. We are on a little sightseeing tour with our new friend who's gonna help us with our van. It's, um, yeah, we have identified the problem now and uh, he has some parts laying around. So we are super lucky that we met him. And uh, wow, this guy owns a lot of T3s. <laughs> a few vans down there. Um, one there, three there, yeah. Don't get any ideas now. <coughs> I saw a synchro, I saw a synchro. So we're back at our friend's place. We haven't figured out all we need to do on our van before we can proceed further. 
we don't feel confident about doing it at least, so better safe than sorry, I, I guess. Um, but this place is so interesting. There are so many old cars here. Mostly, of course, T3s and T2s and Beetles. And most of them are like really rare. Synchros, even got some of these really big ones, look. So we've just been chilling today, uh, waiting for our friend to get back to help us. Stoked to hit the road again, shortly. It feels like the parts on Truck Norris are starting to reach their life limit, I guess. So we have to change uh, original parts. And uh, hopefully it's gonna be happy and yeah, be reliable for the next few thousand miles we're gonna do through Norway. Place called Nadefjord. We haven't really moved much the last two days. <laughs> We've just been fixing our car. <laughs> but I think everything is really, really good now. Or fingers crossed that it is. So this will be exciting. We didn't get that far. <laughs> we started making weird noises and we're not risking it. No. Oh. 